Singer Michael Bublé was born in Burnaby, British Columbia, but he'd get his start in Vancouver, where he performed in front of the martini drinking crowd at the former Babalu Lounge and nightclub. Since 2011, Michael has been married to Argentinian actor and model Luisana Lupilato, with whom he has three children, and this happy family celebrated the majority of their very first Christmases together in the comfort of Bublé's former Vancouver-based home. It certainly can't be all that surprising to learn that the man who has a platinum-selling Christmas album, not to mention a series of holiday television specials, loves this time of year. But what makes it most special to Michael is getting to share in the experience with others, as he once explained to Western Living, telling them, I've always been very sentimental about it. It was just such an exciting time for us and for all the kids that lived on our street. You could smell it in the air from Halloween on, you knew it was coming. People were acting a little more tenderly with each other. And there was something really magical about that. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2007, Michael bought his first home in West Vancouver for $4.5 million, and he'd use it for the next decade as his home base, always returning each and every December to be as close to his family as he possibly could. Not to mention, he would decorate his home in a stunning holiday fashion. Of course, ever since his wife joined him on his journey, Michael's home also served as a gathering space for her Argentinian family as well, which means traditions often had to be merged. For his Spanish side, Michael would turn his downstairs basement into a nightclub with a disco ball and a DJ. Meanwhile, upstairs, he kept things a little bit simpler for his own family who liked to belt out Christmas tunes with a piano, microphone, and amp. But no matter what was going on or where, everyone ultimately ended up doing the same thing as Michael explained to Western Living. We drink way too much and eat way too much and we all sing Christmas carols. With all of that going on every holiday season, thank goodness Michael's home boasted five bedrooms, five bathrooms and more than 7,100 square feet because they needed every inch of that space. In terms of the amenities, Michael's home included a gourmet kitchen, a home theater, music room, and a wine cellar on the property's bottom floor. But the only good look we ever got of the interior of this place comes from a holiday-themed photo shoot that Michael participated in a few years ago with the folks over at Style at Home. That's where we got a taste of the home's elegant black, white, and gold palette with a type of sophisticated charm that totally suits Michael's vocal style. For instance, just above the tray table in the home's hallway hung a piece from Michael's artwork collection, a collage of broken records that was created by his brother-in-law. Michael takes major pride in his art collection, some of which includes a cartoon by Jan Arden and a painting by Tony Bennett. But his favorite piece is a photograph of Chet Baker by William Claxton that hung in a place of honor above the fireplace in his living room. And when it came time to wrap gifts, Michael always personalized them with a band of sheet music secured by a satin bow before nestling the presents in a bowl of ornaments to add a little bit of holiday flair. Then there's the food. With an extended Italian family and an Argentinian wife, you just know we're talking a wide range. From traditional turkey and mashed potatoes to risotto and empanadas alongside a whole bunch of sugar-coated treats. But it's the little details that always mattered the most. Whether it's white peonies arranged in a dome shape to look like a bowl of white snowballs or black linens paired with gold-toned flatware and gold-edged dishware, it's clear that Michael and his family never spared any expense when it came to getting into the holiday spirit. After celebrating many heartfelt holidays here in 2019, Michael and his family decided to leave their longtime Vancouver home behind. It seems that they were constructing a massive new home in Michael's original hometown of Burnaby. So why don't we head on over there next? In the late 2010s, Michael Bublé bought two abandoned properties and turned them into one gigantic house that's so big, it reportedly has its very own underground hockey rink. No, seriously. In 2016, Bublé let that little tidbit slip next to Kelly Ripa. But that wouldn't be the only time that this house would make the news. During its lengthy period of construction, the nearby neighbors often complained that the fence surrounding the compound was built too high. Fortunately, once the entire process was completed, Michael's new neighbors all appeared to forgive and forget. In fact, 
If anything, they were happy to have the town's prodigal son back in the fold with one neighbor telling the Vancouver Sun he could have gone anywhere in the world so the fact that he has a home here in Burnaby where he grew up is really great. Outside of bragging about his indoor ice rink, details on Michael's new home are relatively scarce, but what we do know is that the mansion was designed by Michael Green Architecture and is situated across from an elementary school on Government Road. Satellite images also reveal that the property houses a tennis courts and an in-ground swimming pool. As for the inside, well, we've only ever been offered glimpses on social media, but a deep dive turns up a series of clips to give us a taste of how things might look. This includes a living room with a cream-colored sofa topped off with black pattern pillows and gray tile floors. Meanwhile, the dining room has been decorated with a rustic wooden table that serves more as a spot for Michael and his kids to goof around than it does an elegant place to gather. They've also got a minimalist themed kitchen with mosaic tiling on the wall and cream colored worktop counters with a central white island. But the most interesting thing about this property is that in the beginning of 2022, it was assessed as the most expensive home in the city and the 36th most expensive home in all of British Columbia with a value of $23.6 million. For reference, the second most valuable home in Burnaby is only worth $9.1 million. According to BC Assessment, the 100,000 square foot lot the home is situated on is worth $8.3 million alone, while the seven bedroom, 15 bathroom house is worth more than $15 million. And guess what? This isn't even the only home Michael Buble owns in Burnaby. In fact, his other property holds even more sentimental value to him. What better time than the holidays is there to give back? And a couple of years ago, Michael was very much in the giving mood when he decided to remodel his original family home and gift it to the Burnaby resident who cared for his grandfather during his final years. While working for Michael's family over a period of eight years, Minette would send much of the money that she earned back to the Philippines to provide for her own family that was still living there. This is why it became so important for Michael to do something nice for her. So he recognized Minette's hard work by honoring his grandfather's final wish to give her a home that she could call her own. To do so, Michael enlisted the help of the property brothers, Drew and Jonathan Scott, to renovate his former home into something a little more modern. Back in the day, Michael used to spend a lot of time in this house, largely because his grandfather meant so much to him. In fact, he'd tell the property brothers on Celebrity IOU, the greatest memories of my life happened here. My grandfather was my best friend growing up he's my hero. Part of what made this house so special was the fact that Michael's grandfather built it with his own two hands, which is why the singer decided to roll up his sleeves and participate in as much of the renovation as his body would allow. For the most part, the renos were focused on the entryway, kitchen, and living room. One of the highlights of this new modern look was the creation of a slat wall in the central foyer, which now helps to divide the dining room from the rest of the space and provide a bit of privacy. As for the living room, what was once a very ornate parlor full of carpet and fabric now offers sleek edges, a hardwood floor, and a fireplace. Then the mountain side windows in the living room were all replaced with more modern, energy efficient windows. When it came time to do the kitchen, Michael and the property brothers took an all white space with tile floors and turned it into something elegant with a giant marble island and a massive built in cabinet for all of Manette's nicest tableware. What do you guys think? Pretty hard to tell that this was once a 70s era home now, right? The fact that Michael did it all for someone who dedicated so much of her time to caring for his family is just so nice. Such a perfect sentiment to think about around the holidays. In other words, that'll bring this special holiday theme look into the homes of Michael Buble to a close. Thanks for watching today's video and before you head out, answer me this. If you were a world famous singer, would you return to your original family home every holiday or would you be looking to spend it somewhere totally different or somewhere you've never been before? Let me know what you would do with Michael's resources in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.